So hi, got this new BMS today. Uh, this is uh, like a Dali, but it is not Dali. It is a Chinese type. But why I order it? Because this is a 4S BMS, and eventually, I think that I can not only use a lithium polymer. Yes, this is lithium polymer but also lithium phosphate and I think that eventually everything is in the software you can control the voltage and decide when it is over voltage or under voltage depends on the settings that you have so I don't understand why the BMS manufacturer are not doing both BMS that is good also for lithium phosphate and also for lithium polymer again the voltage is different lithium polymer full uh, charge is 4.2 uh, volts and lithium phosphate full charge is 3.7 volt so this is the main difference and of course you have also the uh, full discharge that is different uh, from lithium polymer to lithium phosphate lithium phosphate the minimum is 2 volts lithium polymer is around 2.5 sometimes 3 volts depends so Eventually, I want to try to test it. This is a smart BMS, so you can see it has a model to connect to your phone. And uh, there is an application that is call, called Siang Siang, something like this. Then I will try to install it, and then I will try to test it with lithium, uh, lithium ion, and then with lithium phosphate and see if it will fill uh, all the functions that I need for both batteries. Okay, so I was able quite easily to connect it to my lithium phosphate cells for cells now. By the way, there is also a temperature measurement here. And I will show you uh, when you connect to the application, you find uh, the MAC address and then you click it. And then it connect by the way after it is connecting there is a config the config in order to do the config i had to pay about uh, five bucks in order to make uh, this menu to work now i can see battery off and battery on wow this is interesting so i can disconnect the battery probably by pushing the button and i would like to see if this is actually working so I will try to find how to connect it easily so maybe I will put the fluke here and connect the positive uh, here and the negative I do it directly like this because I don't have aha uh -huh. okay so Hopefully you can see both in firm now. The voltage is 13 and battery off. Yes. Aha, the battery is still on. Okay, so now uh, let's try other things in a second. Ah, the voltage drop in the battery off. Maybe there is our capacitors inside. I will try to put maybe a load to see maybe it is working. So now I put a lamp in order to check the uh, battery on, battery off. So battery on, yes. Aha! Battery off. This is actually working so you can switch your battery on and off with the application uh, by the way you can see other thing like uh, the power power out let's see in the battery on yes yes 20 watts you do you see it 20 watts and this is a, a lamp 12 volt 21 watt this is exactly the correct number and also you can see uh, the total percentage left in the battery in the current voltage so now battery off yes so this is very nice 
you see here all the voltage of all the cells uh, one two three four and now let's go to the config by the way where is the temperature ah here is the temperature sensor do you see it is 24.3 ah this is nice because i can put it near my lamp so the lamp will cause the temperature sensor to to uh, increase so let's see it so you see 25 celsius 26 28 yes this is actually also working so the temperature sensor is working quite well so let's power off go to the config menu and this is what i would like to see charging port on when battery off haha <laughs> this is nice charging port when battery is off so you can decide if you want it to work like this and now in this menu i have all the configuration let read it from the bms aha so you see you can read all the configuration total capacity total a uh, cycle and a uh, cell voltage and other parameters we will soon go over all the parameters and see what we can do okay so let's go on other things so eventually you can change the cell full voltage so this says is lithium phosphate so i want the maximum to be uh, let's say 3.7 volt so it's 3700 millivolts let's see if this works save configuration no so how do i apply the settings bms right yes so it did it okay so i can use on the lithium polymer the lithium phosphate cell minimum voltage i don't want it to be 3000 i want it to be let's say a 2.1 volts so i'm doing it two point okay cell 80 percent capacity let's say this is 300 and 500 60 will be let's say 300 and uh, i don't know four 3400 this will be 3300 and this will be 3100 i don't know about the number i'm just doing what i think start voltage let's say a uh, start voltage okay so start voltage 2.1 volt delta balance let's say 100 millivolts and total capacity on this cells is uh, about let's say 4000 now 3000 milliamps and a uh, total cycle total battery capacity is 3000 and total cycle i don't know what is the difference what is total cycle don't really understand let's write all the configuration the bms and bam we did it so now haha the battery is now 39 percent because we changed the voltage and now we will do a charge and test to see how it goes so pretty nice bms as you can see so i will now charge it uh, let's do the math 3.7 multiplied by 4 will be 7.4 14.8 so i will charge on 15 volts now I will put 15 volts and 2 amps and pack. I am on. The battery is not charging. Let's do a battery on. 
now it is charging okay so we can see that it is charging we can see now all the cell voltage this battery is, is not in very good condition let's maybe take the lamp out and now let's watch the BMS in action because it should do a cut off at 14.8 volts or when the cell switch the 3.7 volts and this was actually meant to go to lithium polymer it is written lithium polymer ion on this BMS and now we change it look how nice it is writing on the four cells now balancing because it is near 3.7 volts and soon it will do the balancing for the other cells as well although this is probably a passive uh, balancing and not an active one so soon we will see balancing also on cell number two Aha, cell number two balancing. Okay, it go over the limit because I forgot the protection menu. So the over cell over voltage will be let's say three seven five hundred and release also the same cell under voltage will be two point one release two point one battery over voltage will be uh, 14.8 also here we forgot uh, to put all this value under voltage will be let's say uh, 8.4 8.4 less overcount will be let's say 5 amps discharge let's say 10 amps and now write to BMS yes would like to write this data and now let's watch again So we are now near the limit, three balancing, balancing, and the cell over voltage, you see, cell over voltage protection. So it's actually stopping the cell. You see, cell over voltage protection. When I reach 14.8, so it is sh shutting the charge on and off. You can see here 2 amp, and then it is off because the protection. Whoa, nice work they done very nice work because again this is for lithium polymer not lithium phosphate and by changing all the value with the phone we could uh, make it good for lithium phosphate cells so overall pretty impressed from this uh, new BMS